and I'm hungry and I'm moving real fast because I'm going first class for a steak at Taco Bell. Jones and four grilled steak tacos. Steak's the king of meat. So I run and I like. So I run and I walk because I can't find my horse to ride there. In the city, got a shake for a marinated steak at Taco Bell. Ghost! No, you can't. He'll have to bleep <laughs> it out. Welcome to What the Fuck is in the Box, the show where we take a couple minutes to show you what comes in the box for all the lovely things you buy from us at Dow. We show them what the fuck what comes the in the box. What the fuck comes in the box. And I have with me today... Uh, they call me Gary. 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 Do you want to explain Gary? Gary's a tapeworm that lives in my belly that keeps me skinny even though I eat all <laughs> kinds of junk food. Um, and this is my host, Gretchen. 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 I guess I'm Gretchen because I'm moody. Yeah, you're moody today. I'm very moody. What you bring with you? I brought nothing. You brought something or, or the folks here brought something. We Wait. brought the URC Total Control Light Package. Whoa, the whole kit. It's not that light of a package, it's by the way. It's not very light at no. all. It's a big package. Are we giving it away? Yep. We're giving the whole package away. You're starting there. We're not ending there. No, I want to start I there like so what that you're people doing. will actually finish the show. We're doing it backwards it first and first backwards. Yes. We're giving this away to somebody that likes, comments, or subscribes, or hurdles the table in front of me. Yeah, that was impressive. They don't even get to see it. Oh, saw I saw it. it. Doesn't oh, matter. It. Doesn't matter. Andre was very sneaky. All right, so total control light. Total control light. Light. Why do they call it light, Drew? Because it's a little bit lighter than the full version. Full How version? much lighter? <laughs> well, this one can do four rooms. It's a four-room control system. Today, we are giving away two full zones, right? Or, in theory, four full zones Good if you point. use the, you can't see it, it's a little tiny mobile app. It's free when you buy the product. Right here? Yeah, you know. It's a mobile app. All right, we're Bust the boxes open, brah. Yeah. Box Come on, art, Gretchen. Very basic box <laughs> art here for you guys. Uh, this is not a retail product, right? So this is a, in the custom installation world only. Uh, average Joe would not see this on a shelf or buy this on a shelf. It needs to be installed by professionals. So. Neither would Average Amanda. It's or, not yeah. gender specific. Very clear, very Do what you want. Yep. Uh, I'm going to get into the box. I'm going to start with the 1080. Eric, why don't you tell everybody what the 1080 is? It's uh, 1080 times one remote. It's their multi-room remote, so they do offer two different remotes. We'll be looking into those. This is the multi-room version. Super cool, super nice. While you're opening it, you had mentioned that it was an integrator-specific product. That's kind of what URC does best, right? They've always been focused on... I can't when you do the thing with the eyes. In your eyes, the light, the heat. In your eyes, I am complete. <laughs> so fact. Oh, Gretchen. That's Where it, was yeah. I? <laughs> integrator, <laughs> right? So they're specific to the integrator. The software, the Accelerator Expressway software that comes with us is specific to the integrator. You've got to go through the certification process. We did that. We did that. Yep. All yeah. I remember is to accelerate. Yeah, it's, um, it's very easy, but it's definitely not something that an end user is going to open up and immediately be able to figure out, right? I found it easy to kind of get your way through the training side of it, but I do think there's a lot of depth to it, which is good for the integration world. Uh, mastering it's probably not the easiest thing, which is what right. you really want, right? Uh, something that you could probably set up a beginner system pretty easily, um, but then as you get more complex and you learn... Um, for sure, if it's your first time looking at it, though, you're not going to understand it as a homeowner, which is... Really, kind of Homeless. one of the one of the big benefits. Absolutely not. And the other big thing, obviously, is that if they <laughs> we touched ooh, uh, total control. <laughs> if you are using total control and you have access to accelerator, you actually do have access to total control light right away. So I think that's a cool thing as well. Absolutely. Um, why don't you talk Sweet. about what they got here? Yeah. So we've got a sham wow and uh, some buttons on here, right? Some uh, room buttons. Room buttons. Thank yeah. you. That's You've cool. got the charging cradle here with the power and status lights on there. And it's just important to kind of note that this is the 1080 piece. These all three are sold separately. Um, and the 1080 piece is a whole home remote. So this is designed to go into any room, not just one room, which is why it has the cradle and multiple buttons. Probably going to put the button more of where you locate the cradle yep. for the remote. So. Yep, that makes sense. Absolutely. So a little two-inch display on this, right? Full color, two-inch display. Brilliant two-inch display. A brilliant two-inch display. And the display is not just for your buttons or your background, right? Because you can fully customize the background. You can put rooms in here so that people kind of have a visual on it. But these also have their two-way module uh, capability. So you can actually see surveillance cameras on this. You can actually get your feedback on the lighting zones that you have throughout the house. Sonos cover art comes on here. 
uh, any of those two-way products, you can actually get the status and the feedback on the two-inch display. And, and two things I wanted to point out on the remote that I like a lot. One, it is not a touchscreen, and I prefer that. If, uh, if you have ever had a touchscreen remote, a lot of times picking it up at night, you can accidentally hit a button. There are physical buttons on the side of the remote next to uh, the on-screen cues, which I like a lot. And then the back actually has slots for your fingers. I love that. I was waiting for you to get to that. I knew that's your thing. <laughs> you're, you're the form factor I, guy. I like the way it feels in the hand, and it doesn't. Uh, if you've used a lot of the other uh, remotes, they tend to get skinnier on the top. And when you go to get to the top side of the remote, it does slide out of your hand a lot. So, so you're not a fan of a top skinny remote. Nope. Okay. Nope, not going there. All right. No, nope. like good Apple idea. Bottom. I like my Apple bottom remotes, you know. <laughs> um, are you good? That's good for this. You uh, like that? Battery, uh, rechargeable battery on this one. That is uh, something to mention. And uh, the cradle, obviously. So the DC plug we'll put aside for a second. Yeah. Um, so four to five days is what I read on that on that remote control. It was generally the use, the and standard use. And a screen use. cleaning call. You know what I like about all these boxes, by the way? You're also the box guy, but I'm going to kind of steal that. I see. What is that, Drew? It's an instruction manual. Stole that too from you. Yeah, I know. Taking away your stuff, which I love. This is an electronic manual statement. Yep. That's a fancy name. What is that? Uh, it's a manual statement, statement about the electronic manual. So what's cool about their boxes is they've always got their uh, tech support information on it. I, yep. I was going to say I picked the one box without <laughs> it. But right here, do you have a tech connect uh, technical question? Contact our professional installer technical support team. And you've got both the phone number and the email, right? 24-7. So... Um, that's great. That's right there. What do we have here, Drew? Go the yeah. The MRF five. Totally. Oh. There we go. I opened that one for everybody. <laughs> MRX five is the brain, right? So yeah. this is the actual control unit. This would go kind of at your main point of sources. So whether that be in a cabinet, on a rack, um, wherever it be in the house, you do obviously have uh, your IR outputs. Mm -hmm. uh, one of which is tunable, right? So you can actually tune the strength to it. I know that's a big deal when you're doing multiple receivers in a rack, things like that. If it's too strong of an output, it can hit two or three receivers at once. So mm -hmm. um, that is actually <clears throat> tunable. RS-232 control, which is always a nice add-on. Uh, so it says IP as well, right? IP as well. Okay. Yep. Uh, I do like that they have a mounting plate, so you can mount this on the wall. Sneaky then, uh, devil. Came right in. off. I would have fidgeted with that for minutes. <laughs> uh, you get your wall work, and then you get your IRs, right? Yeah. So do I remember right from the training that you have to start with this hardwired into the Ethernet and then it can be on Wi-Fi uh, after that? That's the uh, IR piece. Is that the IR piece, yep. not yep. this for the controller? It could be this as well. We'll double check. Yes. Eric we'll just toss that up. It. We'll see who wins that one. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. You, cool. What yeah. else do we have? We've got one more piece. And they are getting all of this, right? Whoever wins is getting this whole kit. We're giving all of that to them? All of it. I'm putting it all over here. I don't know if that's on camera or off camera, but I'll bring it back at the end. So do you want to throw the box away? I don't know. Oh, there's another piece I don't know. What did we hit in the background? I wonder what uh, awesome background it's going to be. You can tell by Andre's anger if you hit the screen. because You mean the guy over there like this? Yep, that's the one. That's, That's because right now we're in it like 10 minutes or something. Oh, this is a lot. We're doing good. I think we're pacing ourselves very well. The best part of this is knowing that Andre is going to have to break it down and chop it up and make it half as much time. Uh, uh, so either he's going to speed up the tape and we're going to be talking like this the entire time at 3-4 speed or he's going to slow things down and we're just going to talk and cut things out. <laughs> the 820. Why don't you tell us about the 820? The 820 is uh, two-thirds of the 1080. <laughs> it is a single room remote control that uh, also has the beveling on the back, so it kind beveling. of balances oh, real. Oh, that was a good I got word. words. I got words, Gretchen. You know, I got words, Jack. So Come words. on. Jack. I don't know why. I guess for the, if you're going to be on the touch screen. Correct. Yeah, sweet. Mm -hmm. So this is their single room remote. It does not do the multi-room features. It's not going to control different zones of your product. But it has the same two-inch display. You've got the same two-way module capability, so you're going to get the feedback. It is Wi-Fi. Um, capable. All of these can be programmed off-site, by the way. That's something that's really important to talk about is you can reset the remote, uh, reset the programming, uh, change the controls, whatever whatever you need to do off-site. Yeah, program and manage, right? I think that's a big add-on for the URC Total Control Light program at the price points they're getting people in at, um, where you can't offer remote management and make a residual income for offering that. <laughs> that's so loud. Why did you do the whole thing? That was impressive. 
So, uh, hmm. like Eric said, this is a single room remote. This one does not come with a cradle, so I do think that's important to call out. This is recharged by plugging in, right? So mm -hmm. that is a big differentiating factor in this remote. Uh, it does come with a battery. Wow. I feel like I had a little water on my That's good. On my thing. Another uh, buttons on the screen as well, so mm -hmm. no touch screen. Sweet. So, do you want to go over all the lovely things again? I'd rather be watching a paper cut in slow mo. Oh yeah, let's go over them all again. Let's just start from the top, Drew. Break it out. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> They're all those now. Uh, I will mention. So, uh, for the integrators out there, URC Portal, right? They have a portal where they have all their resources. They have tips, tricks. They have a bunch of videos on there. Um, you can go through all their different stuff. They've got the drivers to work um, with the various systems that you need. Look at all these lovely things here. Thank God it's all going to one person. Your OCD is going to go bonkers right now. <sighs> it was in such good order, I knew what went with what, and now I don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, I know where you're going next. What do I do? Vinny. Ah, Vinny. Vinny! Vinny. Yo, hey, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny, thank you. Vinny C. This is all compliments of Vinny. Right? Captain Capoli. Captain Capoli. Yeah. Is that who we're thanking? Vinny. How do they win? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. Do you yeah. want to ride out on the sunset? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the show. Uh, Jerry, put us on the horses. It's going to look really <laughs> stupid. Nice job, Gretchen.